Hello there guys, welcome back to Rosewith. How's it going today? Today is June 19th, 2017, and it is 8 p.m. So, uh, I have actually preemptively gone around and done all of our dailies. I've talked to, I think, all of the villagers who I've seen at least. Um, and uh, we, we have a request. Um, Mac wants us to catch a tarantula. Now, I'm telling you straight up, if I can't, 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 oh my goodness, if I catch a tarantula tonight, I am donating it to the museum and I am probably never going to try and purposefully catch one ever again. Um, while running around and doing dailies, I have already actually seen one. Unfortunately, it fell off a cliff, which they have a nasty tendency to do. Um, but now I know where another spawn location is, I think, roughly. Um... But, uh, but yeah, that's going to be this entire episode. We're going to be tarantula hunting. If you guys aren't really interested in watching me run around town and hunt for one, probably for the duration of this entire episode, feel free to skip on to the next one. I'm not offended. But if you guys are interested, we'll, uh, we'll continue on. Now, I personally don't like carrying my net, but I do have it um, on my quick command uh, for easy access in case I do see one. Now I'm going to bump up my volume a bit just so that I can hear. But yeah, you. You want to try. Why would you even want that? <laughs> like, why? So anyway, yeah, I'm going to just kind of slowly mosey around town. I don't want to move too quickly and risk, like, you know, running right into it and not being prepared. Um, because that's kind of what happened when I saw it run off a cliff. <laughs> um, I also... I know p some people argue that, like, oh, you know, the tarantula, it doesn't really go after you immediately if you have your net. And I'm like, eh, you know what? Mm, I'm not gonna risk that. Also, our park looks amazing. Thank you once again to Arcadis, by the way. Ooh, actually, before we start, because I thought this was adorable. So I uh, had some viewers over yesterday, and unfortunately, we had a connection error. Uh, we think we know who it may have been because of, but that's totally fine. Uh, but, Sammy, uh, some of you who watch the streams, you may know Sammy, he's a regular. Dear Crystal, Crystal, you have been such an awesome person, you have such, you have such, you've been such an awesome, what? <laughs> I'm, I'm reading this double, I think that's just me. I'll always watch you and support you, Bob is our lord and savior from Sammy. Thank you, Sammy. Now, what did you get me? <laughs> I'm gonna save that letter, by the way. A purple pansy. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, no. There we go. So I'm gonna save that. I'm probably gonna, like, find a really cute place for that as well, because I think it'd be adorable to keep that kind of stuff. Like, that's just adorable. I've had a couple people do that when they visit my town, so thank you guys very much. I prefer, like, to be able to save letters from you guys than, like, you know, any present. For now, though, I think I'm gonna put it right here. Purple and blue. They kind of look cool. I have it already kind of up here, but they aren't, like, you know, meshed together, so... For now, that's where I'm gonna put it, but I'll probably find an even better place in the future. Okay, so down here I'm gonna be careful. Because, uh, I know for a fact that there was a tarantula here a couple episodes ago. Was that last episode? I think it was, like, the episode before last. But, uh, but yeah, hopefully we find... Oh, get out of my town. <laughs> Hopefully we find one, or at least, like, you know, a couple today. Um, catching it would also be really nice. <laughs> I kind of want to just get it done. Uh, fun fact, I still have not caught the scorpion, actually, in my other town, Rosewood. For some reason, the scorpion seems to be the trickier one for me, and I don't really know why. Um, but that would be my question of the day. Which one has been harder for you to catch if you have caught either, or... Neither, for that matter. Because <laughs> I know some people, you know, like me, get a little bit freaked out. Which is fair. They're scary looking. Oh gosh, Peggy, hi. Hey, hey, guess what I've got in my pockets right now. Yeah, it's a... a Pachira? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Want to trade it for something? How about, well, let's see. Oh no, I wanted to keep that. Bob gave that to me. Uh, oh, I wanted to put it in my kitchen. Mac, why are you staring at me so intently? Dude, go away. Mmm... No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I love you, I love you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh gosh, I'm gonna go put that away in my house before she asks again. I feel terrible. I am a horrible person. Ugh. 
I hate saying no IRL too. I'm really bad about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, our house has expanded, so I can show you guys that right now. This is not where our kitchen is going in the end, by the way. It's just kind of uh, where it's going to be right now. <laughs> or where the stuff for it is going to be. But uh, yeah, I actually I love putting alpine stuff for my kitchen, but I think I'm going to completely... Um, what's the word? Uh, refurbish it to be a different shade than like the, the no, like you know the normal light blue that I usually do, like the standard. Um, just so I can say that I'm not just sticking with my old habits. <laughs> I don't know. I think Alpine is like the best kitchen esque set that you could possibly ask for. Oh gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not ready for this, you guys. Okay, good. Just triple checking that I had my net. <laughs> oh, I hate tarantulas. I don't think there would be one over here. Um, I know that I did have a spawn spot for one over here in Rosewood, so that's why I'm gonna check anyway. But I also know that they tend to generally, from my experience, they like like open areas kind of like this. But I feel like because I have paths everywhere for the path plot resetting method, uh, I feel like they may not spawn as well as they should, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Because um, this is the first time I've ever done it. I've never had, I guess, my town laid out like this before, so... Okay. Now, if we don't find one soon, in other words, if we can do an entire cycle of the town and not find one, it is totally fine. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be alternating just to show you guys what you can do. Some people swear by just like, you know, running up to Main Street and running back down to reset things. I personally swear by the save and continue method, um, which you would know about if you had watched, like, you know, my... Um, I think the Stringfish video and the How to Cast the Coelacanth video. Okay, good, that's nothing. I'm pretty sure that was nothing. But yeah, I saw the tarantula right here. I caught it out of the corner of my eye, just kind of moseying around here, and then it ran off. At least it may have had somewhat of a soft landing <laughs> with all those flowers down there, but... Ugh. Not exactly... A smart move on its part. I believe also, and I could be wrong here, uh, it might not be in the leaf, but I seem to remember in an Animal Crossing game, uh, if you speak to a villager while a tarantula is nearby, they will act kind of scared and they'll comment on it. Um, I don't know if it's new leaf. Because I, I played a lot of Wild World, and I don't think the Tarantula and Scorpion were present in uh, Animal Crossing on the GameCube, and I, I didn't really play much City Folk. So it has to be one of the games I've played <laughs> that I would know that for. <laughs> um, anyway, let's see here. I don't see any here. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to go up to Main Street, chill out for- Oh, no, no, no. Mm -mm. By the way, Wolfgang is moving out. <laughs> I can't remember if that happened on Saturday stream or Sunday stream, but he asked to move out. And he's leaving on the 27th of June, I do believe. I'll probably do a raffle for him. Hopefully I have enough time. Uh, but yeah, hopefully hopefully that goes well. I hope you guys are excited for that. Um, I'm excited because that means we get our final villager, which only a handful of people know about. <laughs> so I'm excited that I won't have to keep that secret anymore. Um, okay. So, that's all good. So this is one way that people claim to reset their town. I don't really know if it works. Uh, part of me actually just remembered. You can also kind of, in a way, reset if you do the diving trick. So maybe I could try that out. Um, if I did, I'd probably just cut out the footage of me, you know, <laughs> treading water for like five to eight minutes. Um, 
and then you guys could uh, see the results of that. And also, you know, maybe, who knows, we might get a public works project suggestion. <laughs> oh gosh, that's just the villager walking. Gosh darn it, Wolfgang. You're so cute in Bob's shirt, but no. <laughs> no, Wolfgang. But yeah, like I think I mentioned a couple episodes ago, I have a feeling that the tarantula only really- like the, the tarantula scorpion or really any bug or fish that you're looking for, I have a feeling that they, the game knows that you're looking for them. And they only bring them out when you're like doing something else, because like, you know, I found the tarantula before I was recording, um, before I'd made my mind up that I wanted to search for the tarantula, and I was doing my dailies. So, you're like, you know, perfect timing, right? <laughs> That's just this game, though. Okay. Now, I don't really know if walking up to the train station really does much in terms of resetting. I think that may have been the method that I suggested in my... Um, How to Catch the Tarantula and Scorpion video. I don't exactly remember, because I filmed it, like... Was it last summer or the summer before? It was a long time ago. Um, either way, and I will be refilming that this summer, by the way. I will more likely than not be using footage from, if not this video, then, you know, the upcoming streams where I do searches for the tarantula. Um, but, uh, but yeah. Gosh darn, do you have fleas, Pashmina? Okay, I will get you later, honey. So don't worry about it now. Also, um, I have seen personally that tarantulas and scorpions can spawn or at least walk on uh, designs or paths. I've seen one on my plaza before and that was when I had, you know, paths covering the plaza tiles, so I do know that they can spawn there. I've, I've seen them all over the place, but I feel like they have spe uh, specific spots that they like to come into. Okay, so I'm not seeing anything. Like, I feel like this area down here would be perfect. Okay, there's no f trees, no flowers, really, nothing to get in the way, and we'd be able to see it and just, you know, nab it super easy. But I don't think we're gonna be that lucky. <laughs> Mac, wish us luck. We're doing this for you, kind of, not really. You know, if I was lucky enough to catch two today, then yeah, sure, you could have one. I really wouldn't want that in my house, personally, but I mean, you know, I'm not gonna judge your life choices. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, um, where should I start from? We're gonna start from up here. No, you know, I'm actually gonna go all the way around. I found my, uh, silly canth. There's a reason why when I, I, uh, save and, uh, continue for the silly canth, fishing method. I do it at the end of the beach. I just feel like it gives me more chances, but I'm gonna save at the end of town for the same reason, so let's do this. Save and continue. I think save and continue, I only really, really use it when I'm hunting for a fisher bug. I never use it any other time, and I never quite understood its purpose before that. <laughs> I've never had Animal Crossing, like, crash on me or anything. Um, thankfully. Although I guess, like, you know, maybe if your game cartridge comes loose or something, it's nice to be able to save and not lose everything, but I don't know. Oh gosh, now I'm scared. I feel like there's more of a chance now. I am not prepared for this at all. <laughs> uh, I don't like tarantulas. Now, the annoying thing is, I'm pretty sure they can spawn off-camera. Meaning that I could be up here looking for him, and he could be down by the river down there, and he could just wander in, I believe? Uh, I don't exactly know the programming of Animal Crossing, not gonna claim that I do. But, uh, I believe that could happen. Up here also, like, it's a little bit close to a cliff, but it wouldn't be a bad place for it to spawn for us. Okay. Uh, we didn't go down near Brewster's. 
No, let's do that super quickly. Is that a fish I already have? It looks suspicious. I'm gonna try and catch it. Fish. Do you think it has nine lives? Oh, awesome. Okay, so I didn't have that. Good. My, like, instinct stuck in and I'm like, oh, I don't have that yet. I need it. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so, oh, oh, wait, wait. Eh, don't go over yet, present. Gosh, right, present. Pre present. Which side are you on? Okay, you're on that. My, I feel like my depth perception is kind of off sometimes. I was building a book, um, I guess technically a bookshelf. I use it for my game shelves, um, but a bookshelf the other day. And uh, I was having the strangest time trying to match up the pins, I guess you call them, on the inside to like um, hold up the shelves. I apparently have terrible, terrible, strange depth perception. I just don't see things as I should. I think that's the right word. I'm not entirely sure about that though either, <laughs> but it, it was weird. It was weird. I realized just how off my... Uh, I don't I don't know if sense is the right word. Just how I see things is. <laughs> okay, gonna go extra slow here because I know for a fact it can spawn here. Wouldn't that be funny if it tried to spawn in those black tulips? Like, man, I would never see it. <laughs> I'd just hear it and all of a sudden I'd be bit and it would just... That would suck. Oh gosh. You're making me nervous, Fountain. Stop making noise. Okay, I don't see anything. Is that a stink bug? I think I already have that if it is. It looks like one. I'm just gonna leave that. Oh man, I was really hoping to see it here. Oh gosh, that scared me. I thought I heard it skitter. Oh man, stop making noise. <laughs> stop it, you're freaking me out. Okay, nothing here. I don't... Ugh. Oh, man, I... Oh, hi, Shep. Hi, buddy. I'm trying to decide what kind of flowers I like most. Red? Yellow? Maybe somewhere in between? You know me, Crystal. If you had to guess my fave, what would it be? Um, I'm gonna go for, like, more of a red. Just sort of red, Crystal? Well, I wonder what that means about me. I see myself as more passionate than that, but if that's how you see me... Well, I trust you. I guess I should express myself with more gusto. Less cool. Thanks for being honest. You are such a cutie. Honestly, really happy with villager choice there. <laughs> I think he's an awesome villager. Okay. So still no tarantula, but we're not exactly in peak time for them either. I kind of want to just start running and tempt it. <laughs> But you know what? I think the next thing I'm gonna try is I'm gonna. I don't have my diving suit. I'm gonna go diving. Uh, I will cut to the end of the, you know, 10 ish, 8 ish minutes, I guess. And then we'll come back and we'll see. And maybe, you know what? You know what? Maybe we'll just get a public works project out of it, or maybe we'll get a tarantula. Who knows? But I'm gonna take the chance. Let me grab my diving suit here. Wherever I put it. <laughs> I have too much stuff. Okay, seriously, where did I put it? Ah, oh, there you are. If this is even the right one. It is, yay. Awesome. Alright, let's go diving, you guys. Okay. 
much as I find one right now. That would be scary. <laughs> Do I have my net? Okay, good. Just in case. You never know. Okay, nothing there. Too bad. Alright. Time to jump in. Alright, let me head on over here. If you guys don't know what the diving trick is, by the way, I have covered it a little bit before. But essentially the idea is you swim out to the farthest uh, corner of your waters. And you tread water there just like that for, I think people who say 5 to 10 minutes. I usually go like 5 to 8, generally on the longer side. Uh, you swim back into your town and supposedly uh, things have been kind of reset because you've been away for so long. Um, I generally people, and you will get stung a lot by jellyfish, um, people use it in order to uh, get villagers to give them public works projects. Uh, right now, I'm kind of curious to see if it will set the bugs and fish around town as well, because that could work for us with the tarantula. So I'm just going to chill out here for about the next eight minutes, and I will see you guys in just a few seconds in your guys' time. Alrighty then, hello there guys, we're back. It's been over ten minutes, I kind of got a bit sidetracked. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, guarantees that, like, you know, at least maybe a villager will ping us. I kind of want to run into, I believe Peggy's a normal villager, right? Or Melba, because I believe they're the ones who can give me the flower or the rose arch, which I don't have yet. Ooh, hi. Um, and I would like to have, I'm just gonna try and catch this super quick. There we go. Please be a good shark. Eh, not a good shark. Oh well, extra bells. Okay, so let's see if this works. I, I have my doubts. I have my doubts. I'm not really feeling tonight for the tarantula, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, now I have to sneak past every other villager <laughs> until I can find Peggy or Melba. This may be harder than I anticipated because- oh wait! Peggy! Peggy! Hi! What do you got for me? I'm smelling some of my things- oh. You tried to pawn this off on me earlier! What? Melba! Er, Melba. <laughs> Peggy! <sighs> Fine. That's the downside of uh, having bells in my pockets. And having items in my pocket, she's gonna want to sell and buy stuff. <laughs> oh well, it was worth a shot, but that does mean that the town did reset, apparently? Um, I don't know if it reset everything, but like, you know, maybe? Maybe there's tarantula scuttling around somewhere? So if- Oh gosh, I hate that. I keep thinking that you're scuttling. Um, <laughs> Uh, if this doesn't work, my plan after this is to uh, essentially tempt fate and walk around with my net out uh, because I feel like that's gonna that's gonna do something. And if not, then well, you know what? I tried. You guys can see that I what <laughs> what are you guys so happy about? Uh, I gave it a gosh darn good effort, and and I tried. Uh, I'm gonna have to dig up a path for this one. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of balloons today. I think this is my third one. I'm not complaining though. Getting closer to like badges and stuff for the balloons. Anyway, back to having my net <laughs> ready just in case. Don't hear anything, don't see anything. Tarantula, please, just show your hairy bum. Because I think, I'm pretty sure tarantulas are hairy, right? Either way, they freak me out. Don't really want to see one IRL, although I have. <laughs> not not out in the wild, like in, in like a zoo and stuff. Um, and yeah, they freak me out. I'm not fond of uh, spiders. <laughs> Or, uh, most creepy crawlies. And again, I don't think most people are. I like snakes, though. Snakes are cool. And I like rats and mice and rodents as well. Just... 
things that have a lot of legs kind of scare me. Okay, nothing here. Man, I swear it was here before I started filming. It just is- it's camera shy, you guys. Officially, Tarantula Senpai is scared of camera. <laughs> senpai, please notice me. Oh gosh. <laughs> I saw like a really dark part here and I'm just like, oh, it wasn't one though, don't worry. Alright, so, next thing. Save and continue. And I'm gonna run around with my net. This is gonna be horrifying. Don't save and quit. Don't. <laughs> that would be bad. That would be very bad. I know I would really like a happy episode for this, but I haven't had the best luck lately. Bad luck during stream yesterday. Didn't get a shiny Pokemon when I played it. Pokemon didn't uh, get to play with viewers on the island. Kinda sucked. Not gonna lie. So hopefully my luck is a bit better today. Maybe? RNG, please. Nothing. Nothing so far. Eh. Whatever. Um, let's see. Mm, it could just be another catfish. I'm kind of- uh, no. Need to focus. <laughs> mm, gosh, I'm getting a little bit nervous now. I'm walking relatively quickly, and I have my net out. This might turn into rather me being hunted by said tarantula type of episode <laughs> instead of me hunting the tarantula. Wouldn't that be uh, a switch? I can't say the word switch without thinking of the Nintendo console now. I swear Nintendo has completely ruined that word for me. Hi, Peggy. Um... A little bit disappointed that you pawned that item off on me. I think that was just me walking. Okay. I'm just getting jumpy, that's all. <laughs> We're fine. Everything is fine. Man, this would be such a good spot. Why don't you spawn? Senpai, please. <laughs> please. Hi, Shep. Nothing. Alright. One more try. Just one. And we're gonna do it the way that we started doing it. Which is we're gonna go up here. We're gonna chill out for just a second. Then we're gonna come right back. Now, I think the theory is because I went through a loading screen to get here and then a loading screen back that everything should be good, but like, tarantulas don't spawn constantly regardless. And even if they do, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of a chance to like fall off a cliff, fall off into the river. Um, I wouldn't say they're exactly the smartest creature. <laughs> so I, like, you know, I might not even see one. But I'm going to continue, and this will be my last round of town. I'm very sorry if you're still watching at this point and you're like, Crystal, this is the most boring episode ever. My apologies. <laughs> I just want to catch this thing. But hey, who knows? Maybe you guys are trying to catch it right now and you don't mind watching me try and catch it. Or maybe you really don't like spiders either and you're not, like, you know, you have no interest in catching it. Which I understand. I understand completely. If I wasn't such a completionist type of person within this game, I would not bother. It's just the river. Gosh darn it, river. Making me nervous. <laughs> mm. 
river again. So oh, that's just a bug. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's my apologies, river. <laughs> Again? I don't- I really- I should start paying more attention to where the river is and like what I'm hearing, but I just- I hear any sound and I start to get nervous, so. Which is kind of silly. It's just a video game, right? Right. I think- what scared me the most about it as a kid was that it was so unexpected because back then uh, I don't think I had really discovered like online internet type of like guides for for games like I like you know there was like you know the magazines and stuff like Nintendo Power but even then like I don't think I had any of those and I don't know if they would cover Animal Crossing of all things so it was a, just a like out of left field for having this like I, I believe it was the tarantula that got me the first time, just this this fast moving dark thing just come scuttling towards me and knock out my character, which was like so different than you know what Animal Crossing usually is, and I think that's why it unsettled me so much and I I was not fond. <laughs> I can tell you that much, young Crystal. I think oh gosh how old was I? I must have. Mm, I must have been 11 or 12, maybe, when Wild World came out? That feels a bit old, but I'm not entirely sure. Ugh, anyway. I'm getting nostalgic. Um, unfortunately we didn't catch it this episode. Part of me wants to continue. Part of me thinks I'm only really gonna be able to ever catch it on stream, because I'll be able to run around for hours and just chat with you guys and also have it recording the entire time whereas in an episode I'm kind of constricted to like you know 30-ish minutes but uh yeah actually you know what really quickly there we go anyways guys <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh I will see you guys next time <laughs>